guys what's up it's Zar here today I'm going to be explaining how to get Cinema 4D R14 Studio full for free this includes 32 and 64 bit computers so the first thing you want to do is go to the link down in the description down below you want to click this link to this website you want to click download torrent and in order to download this torrent you must have uTorrent I'll have a link to this description down below too this is a website that you can just put that turn in that you just downloaded. So after you download that, you want to open up in BitTurn, which is what you just downloaded. After it's fully done seeding, you want to right click. After you right click, click Open Containing Folder. After that, click Continue. And then you'll have these two files right here. You have the setup and the instruction. What you want to do is open up the instructions. This will have the password and everything in it. After you open up that, you want to click Setup wait for it to load for a couple seconds after you load uh, click yes and then click English next I agree and then when it says installation password you want to open up that file you just opened and it says registration key you want to copy and paste that right into there right after that you want to click next 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 create this type of icon if you want next install and I'll be back with you guys right after that's done alright so that's done installing and as soon as that's done you want to click yes and then ok and then you want to uncheck visit product website click finish and that's about it you're basically done if you did not get that message that said yes you had to click for one thing you could do is go to your C file or yep C go to your program files go to Maxon Cinema 4D R14 activation and you want to double click activation dot regular what that does it will register for your computer and that's about it if you did it correct you should have both of the files on your computer right here this is 32 bit and I could just put that somewhere else where I don't need it and this is the 64 bit one that I'm actually going to use so to tell you guys it works I'm going to double click it I'm going to open it up it should take a couple seconds because as soon as you oh never mind that was a lot faster than that would be alright so basically that's all it is and I'll just open up something quick to show you guys that it does work uh, let's see go into my old ones and I'll just put in my Lightroom and let's see find it here yes and there you guys go and sorry I actually have to change a couple settings it's very easy to get rid of that black screen and if this ever comes up you always want to click close but yeah I'll fix this if you guys are having problems with the black screen I'll make a tutorial video and that's about it for today if you guys like this video, can you please drop me a subscribe? And can you please like and comment on this video too? And I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.